Welcome to Financially Legal, the podcast of inspiration and tactical advice for the entrepreneurial, mission-driven lawyer. Case management is fast becoming the heart, even the operating system of modern law firms. Many law firms know that they need case management, but they're unsure about which one of the hundreds or even potentially thousands of options that, to use. We at Gravity Legal know this is a problem because lawyers ask us this question all the time. I'm your financially legal host, Dan Lear. This limited podcast series on Financially Legal is designed to provide firms with the information and insight to choose the system that's right for them. Over the coming episodes, we'll talk with a number of case management companies. We're asking them all the same questions with the goal of allowing viewers or listeners to evaluate their options more or less side by side. If you're curious about what legal case management software is right for you, listen on or head to gravity-legal.com slash LCM, legal case management, where we have several resources to help you select the right system for your firm. Clevercase is a new case management tool that's for attorneys by attorneys. Built to support solo practices as well as 150 plus employee organizations, Clevercase is rolling out its free to use tool for Gravity Legal users and others in 2023. Today, I'm speaking with Brett Spooner. Brett is a founder at Clevercase and the CEO and founder of Gravis Law. Brett has deep experience in both software and law practice, and he brings a great perspective on both to our interview. I'm really pleased to welcome Brett Spooner, CEO and founder of Gravis Law and founder of Clevercase to the Financially Legal Podcast. Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me, Dan. Really excited to be here today and share, share our Clevercase story. Awesome. I've already given folks a little bit of background on Clevercase, but let me let you in maybe a, a few sentences, introduce yourself because folks always do a better job at that than I ever do. So tell the world who you are, what you do, and then we'll dive into to Clever Case and what you're doing there too. Thanks. So I'm the founder and CEO of Gravis Law, as well as the founder of Clever Case. Gravis Law is a national law firm. Uh, we have about 17 locations in 10 states with about 150 employees. We run our firm on Clever Case and Really, Clever Case was designed to support not only our practice needs, but to hit a certain target opportunity that we saw within the legal industry. Leveraging a background on my end in technology, I, I started out in the early 2000s uh, in the technology and on the legal tech side um, in early SaaS development. Um, got to work with a couple different companies that were building technologies for big law and really automation in that space. And at that time, I was looking at ways to bring it to general practice and think about how we could solve general practice needs with some of this automation. Flash forward, was able to go to law school and come out and start my own practice in 2013. And as I explored the different technologies out there, continued to see an opportunity space arise. And as we grew our firm and uh, addressed our technology needs, uh, we, we ended up building a product. And uh, excited to be able to bring all of our learnings uh, at Gravis Law on the B2C side as we built out um, this software technology for Gravis's needs, but also be able to share that with the industry. Love it. And you already touched on this, but let's drill, let's pick up right there and, and keep going with my first question, which is what problem did you build Clever Case to solve? What was that kind of gap in the market that made you think not only is this great for our firm, but like the world needs this as well? Yeah, sure. When you're starting your practice, especially when you're early solo, you you have some really fundamental needs. You need to be able to quickly get your clients' matters set up. You need to be able to track time and send invoices and get paid. And the process for figuring out how to put that in place is really pretty cumbersome in the industry. I think there's a lot of products out there in the case management space that recognize this and that are working to make that a lower barrier to entry. But when we started putting this product out and looking to bring it to the market, it was really to solve it from a, an area of simplicity and make starting using and interfacing with the product at bare bones about tracking time and getting invoices out and getting paid. Really try to avoid that feature creep and software bloat that a lot of products have. Make it really easy for those attorneys at inception to get off the ground and be able to track their time and get paid. And I skipped actually right over a piece in your bio that would be really interesting for you and I to discuss on another podcast at another time, but uh, your deep roots in legal tech. Now, I know Clever Case is just coming to market, so you guys, to some degree, are brand new, but I'm going to throw this question at you anyway, just because I'd be curious to hear how you talk about it. And again, I think your background in software might be interesting here. Has your vision shifted along the way? Do you feel like you've had to make 
I don't even want to say trade-offs, but decisions or have you had any interesting realizations along that path? As you said, hey, this needs to be really simple, but like actually bringing, making that a reality can sometimes be a challenge. I just, if, if you have a, any quick stories or thoughts on that. I, I, I appreciate the question because it's really at the heart of what we're trying to solve here. And it's the complexity that I think all case management solutions yeah. are seeking. I absolutely believe that the case management platform is the center of, of gravity in the legal space. Like it's the hub for all the things that we're going to do. The average firm is using 10 plus different technology solutions, even outside of their word processing solution. So whether they're Word in Office 365 or in Google Suite, they're, they're using a ton of software and they're really disparate systems with a lot of technology overhead and setup. So we, we can never forget the fact that there's a lot of tools and solutions out there that we need to leverage and use effectively to do our job these days. And it's going to get more more intense as time progresses. It's not getting easier. So, so the case management solution does have to be that hub. One of the challenges that we really built our business model on was we have to still start with the simplicity. Even though the case management software is the hub, we can't overwhelm our users with too many features, too many customizations, too many choices and too much technology burden with utilization. Um, a lot of the early softwares required consultants, required massive onboardings and setup times, yeah. and that's just cost prohibitive for the small firms. The reason why technology adoption has been slow and really the legal industry as a whole has been slow to bring these systems to bear is because of that setup, that technical debt that comes with on whether it's onboarding or customizing or setting the practice up. The other area that we're, we're struggling with in our industry is that legal is very broad. There's countless areas of practice that all have different workflows and requirements. So we said, how do we really narrow this down and take a journey with our customers and our users in a way that we start simple and lean and we don't have all that bloat and a, a huge customization lift and we can add and scale and grow with them. When I started Gravis in 2013, it was just me and, and looking at how to set up an onboarding and put a software platform out 10 years ago was really still a huge lift. Um, mm -hmm. Many products have improved that over the last decade, but we've grown immensely on the B2C side. And, and so I can appreciate the needs of more automation and system setup, but the beginning platform has to be simple and easy to use for those firms starting out. And also for those transitioning over from other products or bringing uh, non-automated or technology um, databases into a software platform. Love it. Okay, so then keying on that particular question, describe your ideal customer. And again, I know you folks are still figuring this out. And let's see if we can drill down even more than just any small law firm, but do you have a sense of kind of practice areas or firm size or firm revenue? And what we're aiming for really is that some listener or a viewer would say, hey, that's me. Who do you think you want to talk to? And, and and who are you trying to talk to out there in the market? Yeah. So I think our target market right now is more on the B2C space. So I would classify it as a family law or estate planning practice with somewhere between one and 10 attorneys. They're deploying maybe their first software interface. They might have a couple different tools they're using for case management and timekeeping. And we're really looking to bring their basic core pro process into an easy to use interface. We're really great at timekeeping and invoicing. We have a really good trust management system. So we're targeting those smaller practices at this stage that are doing business to consumer law. Got it. Okay, let's dive into some of the features. So does your system handle case management and matter tracking? Yes, yeah. Does your system offer document management and storage? Yeah, we're integrated with Office 365 and we have both document storage options in Amazon Cloud and as well as through SharePoint. Got it. Does the system offer time tracking and billing capabilities? Yep, that's really our sweet spot. You can get right in and get right to, to timekeeping and, and invoicing. And with our partnership with Gravity, we've made that integration really seamless to get those invoices time tracked, invoices reviewed now and uh, reconciled. Love it. Does the system offer calendar and schedule management? Yeah, we have both an internal calendar and scheduling tool within the application, as well as a two-way integration with Outlook for Outlook Calendar. Does the system offer built-in CRM or marketing features of any kind? 
Yeah, so CM, CRM is a broad, a broad term, I think. Uh, I would say we're CRM light. We definitely track client, potential clients and data sets around that early stage consult scheduling through retaining and time tracking. So the conversion from a, an initial client relationship into a fee agreement signed. We are not sales force on the front end tracking a lot of that pipeline and marketing data. We're not yet integrated with the Google Analytics or some of that marketing data. So we don't have that kind of integrations yet on the front end of the CRM. And does the system offer reporting capabilities? Yeah, we have both internal reportings that are designed for practices of the, of the smaller size. And as I mentioned, Gravis is, we have 150 employees. We do have a robust integration with Power BI and a, and a, a lot of reporting uh, power that we've built out in the system that really merges that financial and performance data together in Power BI. Cool. How does the system ensure data security, privacy, and continuity? Yeah, we take uh, data privacy really seriously. We're certainly using best-in-class hosting solutions and partnerships. Everything's uh, encrypted, and we're, we're following industry standard when it comes to privacy and data security. But we really trust and work with good vendors, Amazon S3, and, and solutions that have best-in-class security features as well. What kind of customer support does uh, Clevercase offer? Phone, chat, email, all three, and, and when is it available? We offer all three. We're really looking to engage people when they need it within the application through tickets and requests. We're certainly available to jump on a phone call and, and work with them that way as well. But And we're available normal time schedule and are able to handle all those customer questions as they come in. Cool. How about pricing? How is uh, Clevercase priced? So this is where we're a little different. We built this and evolved this at Gravis as we grew, and we're really looking to give this back to the industry. So one of the one of the fundamental pieces of our pricing strategy as we go out and take this to market is to give back to those early stage firms that are coming into existence. We're dedicated to keeping a core portion of our product, the client, client matter setup, conflict checks, timekeeping, invoicing as a free service. We will add on a more freemium model that will have some of those more advanced features in the future. But right now, with our partnership with Gravity, we're able to really provide that to our customer base and our target audience right now. And 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 it's really a, a, a core tenant of ours to make sure that this product is accessible to the industry and that we can share a lot of what we've built and learned at Gravis over the years back with that early stage market segment. I love nothing more than helping those solos and small practices get off the ground and, and successfully support the clients. And not only are we able to provide them a great solution and make it accessible, we, we believe that they're going to want to stay because it's an easy to use product and, and um, we're excited to help grow with them. Got it. I think you buried the lead a little bit, Brett. So I'm just going to tee this up. Like folks can get this at least initially if they want the core features for free. Yep. And, and we don't plan to charge for those same core features later. We're always, we're remaining true to the concept, that entry point, like Dropbox and these other products that have a freemium service. We want people to come in and be able to use, use our software, try it and make the right choice for the right reasons. And I don't want anybody to get stuck in it. Awesome. And I know you folks are just early to market. So the term not even popular. <laughs> that doesn't sound fair either. But uh, wh what do you expect? We've already talked about some of them are going to be your most commonly used integrations. Yeah. So in integrations, certainly uh, excited about our partnership with Gravity and with the core piece of timekeeping and invoicing being at the heart of what we do. And we believe that's a key piece of our, our early stage user success. They need to get paid in, in order to grow their business and, and, and scale. The partnership with Gravity is great. And then we're really embracing Microsoft Office 365. So we have full integrations with that solution, as well as QuickBooks and Xero and some of the common accounting solutions out there. Our product is a full time and billing system, so we can track all of the performance KPIs within the system, the attorney's performance, timekeeping, invoicing, and those metrics. But we do know you got to integrate with QuickBooks and Xero for your general ledger and accounting solutions as well. So we are integrated in real time with those uh, solutions. Cool. 
Actually, we added a new question and you're the first one who's getting it. And I'm excited oh. to, this one will be again, a little more uh, wide ranging, although we're trying to keep you specific. There's a lot of buzz around AI these days. Sure. Uh, and so I'm curious whether Clever Case is investing in AI. Um, and if not, that's okay. Or even if so, but what's one maybe specific use case that you see for AI in your application or in similar applications in the near term? Yeah, it's a great question right now. And we'd be foolish if we weren't keeping AI on our radar. It's definitely going to change the landscape over the next many years uh, in the legal space, legal tech, and, and many industries. When we think about AI right now, one of the things that certainly is top of everybody's mind is the pr privacy and security aspect. So we're, we're going in eyes wide open, uh, discussions internally for us. We're thinking about data lakes and how we can make our users' data isolated, but also leveraging uh, AI technology. So we're not rushing out to bolt on AI solutions yet because of the, the data security risks that come with that. But we are having conversations about how Clevercase can point point AI solutions at their data and get meaningful, meaningful results. Being able to take that data and, and make it digestible by the products out there right now is something that we're, we're looking at. How can we maybe expose a layer without a data or privacy risk to some of these different um, logic models like chat GPT, but we have to be careful. And I think everybody that's exploring AI technology right now recognizes this, the, the data risk that's there. And the short answer is yes, we're absolutely exploring AI technologies, but we're going to be really careful as we do that. And we're trying to figure out how we can be a, a partner for our users to be able to successfully understand their data. Love it. Okay, so we're, we've reached the wrap up. I wanna give you a chance to talk directly to your ideal customer. So that, that lawyer that you want to hear you is out there, go ahead and give that person your best sales pitch. Cool, the, the sales pitch right now is simple. If you wanna log on really quickly and efficiently and start tracking time and invoicing your clients, we're the, we're the product that will get you there quickly and efficiently. As far as feature growth and, and augmentation, we're thinking about growing our product with our users. So our user is going to be wanting to pick the pieces of software implementation that makes sense to them without all the software bloat that's out there. We're really trying to keep a simple interface that's easy to use and we will be scalable and grow with our clients as they grow their firms. Uh, we know what it feels like to grow fast and to need new and different things. And you don't know you need them until you get there. We wanna make sure that there's not long-term contracts and technology bloat in front of the users of the firm. We really respect their time and the, the cost, the implementation setup and consultants cost them. So we're trying to make that as easy as possible to navigate for these users. And how can listeners find out more? Clevercase.com. Check us out and you can learn more, sign up. We can get you set up with an account in the system. Love it. Brett, thank you so much for your time. I think this was super valuable and I'm looking forward both to working with you as a partner, but also to seeing you folks grow and expand into the market. Yeah. Thanks, Dan, for doing this. I think it's a great podcast and always excited to share and listen and learn on new technology iterations in the industry. So well done. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you for tuning into this episode of our special series on legal case management. If you're interested in exploring more legal case management options, head to gravity-legal.com slash LCM, where we have several resources to help you select the right software for your firm.